Hello everybody. In the last tutorial, we learned how to do this uh, as a coloring page. Be kind to yourself with a, a circle, a rectangular, you know, behind it so that it can be more uh, prominent, the words can be more prominent. Then we also did um, another version of it with a different font and it was a bit more thicker. If you can see the lines, um, this would be perhaps better for um, maybe children who are younger who, who need the, the real the, the defined uh, boundaries, so borders, so that they can color. Okay. And today we will be doing this. Now this is just as easy. We'll be doing this and this. Okay. Now, for this, what we do is we, of course, as usual, we add a page, we go to elements, and we look for something. Now, in this case, it's leaves. So, we go to elements, and we look for leaves. Now, as you know, you need to uh, modify these leaves or have it together with something else so that it makes it unique. Okay, so in this case, what I chose was, was this. And if I'm not mistaken, the other one was this one. Now you can choose any leaf, really. So what I did for this, um, yeah, I think it was this one, not this. So let's start with this. All I did was I rotated it okay, to 90 degrees. As you can see, the degrees comes out there as well, so you know exactly how you're rotating it. You can also flip it okay, and then uh, bring it a bit closer, okay, duplicate it. You can see when you do this, there's a duplicate, there's a plus button there, so you duplicate it. The, thing, the good thing about Canva is when you duplicate it, it will actually just follow the, the previous action. Okay. So now for this one, let's say I want it a bit more... this way. Now it's not going to be the exact copy of this one above. I just wanted to show you what you can do, okay? So let's do that again. F. Closer. Closer. Okay, duplicate that. You need to adjust this now this gets a bit finicky but you just have to do it once and then if you're going to print it out as a book a coloring book and that's it it's just a one-time thing that you have you would have to focus on this okay so now what you can do is you just group it all and you can move it a bit to see okay, that's good then what you do is you right click it, copy, and you paste. Okay, so it's going to paste back here. You bring it down. And you can either leave it like that, or what I would do is rotate it 180 degrees and put it down like that. Okay, so that's similar. That not similar, but well, it's the same except that's flipped, flipped around. So the next one I got was this leaf, this 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 leaf. So again, go for graphics, and let me see which one I've got. Anything really? Whichever. Now I do have a pro account, so um, if you have a free account, please do. Look out for the free ones because if it's if you choose a pro one, what happens is they will have a watermark on it, and then you can't use it, or you'll have to pay for a one-time use, which works out to be quite expensive at the moment. So let's say, let's just choose this one, and this one goes like this. Duplicate it. Duplicate again. Closer. And once more, just like that. 
see you can you've got you've highlighted one hold it down the shift key highlight the next next and the next okay you can group that go up there to group it bring it down uh, and then again right click copy and then right click again to paste it uh, you can look you can leave it like that I think that looks good um, you can do another one paste again because that's a bit small right so you can paste that and then paste another one now I know it looks a bit strange now but bear with me now you're gonna add some text uh, you can add any text here is I said be kind to yourself so let's do that again we'll go to text add a heading and you can say I love trees it says, I love leaves you can do anything you want really okay so bring it up and that's fine that it's over uh, these leaves that's fine I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute okay so this is it now you can see it as a black right so now you need to change that to a hollow now you can go here to a hollow but in this case um, if you do do a hollow you need to put a background because if you just do a hollow right now the leaves will come through as well it's a pre in the previous tutorial what I did uh, what I taught you was to do splice okay, now this is the easiest you do splice you go to offset bring it down to zero and you change that to white and I think for now, I think that that's the best thing. Okay, now, you can change the font. If you go up here, it says Open Sans Extra. Now you can change it to anything you want. You can go to Leak Spartan. Um, see, if you do that, what happens is it gets very, very congested. And it's, and it's especially if it's for kids, it's not going to leave much room for coloring so try to get something that is a bit more thicker like something like that maybe or or even that so what you do now now if you think that the the spacing is a bit close you've highlighted it you go up to this part here it says spacing and you know the line spacing you click the up and down and you just move it so what it'll do is it will move it a bit further and then the letter spacing if you want it it, it will also do that okay so that looks good right now you go to position you do it center and middle now now if you look at it that's not good right so you need something behind it so you go to elements again of the leaves and you go to lines and shapes I've already got lines and shapes here so you just you click the see all and you click that okay? it's a square so you click it and it comes here now the good thing about Canva now what they've done is with this shape you can change the shape okay in the previous video if you go back to the previous video you will see that you could change this let's say into a circle anything in inverted triangle you know you can do that so for now we're not going to do that we'll just keep it as that square well well we're going to make it into a rectangle anyway so the border weight we'll do it at about eight okay rounding we'll, we'll round it all the way and then what we'll do is now the color will We'll just leave it for now we'll just go up there a bit we're just going to adjust this first down there we just make sure that the words are covered okay now you change it to white you go up here and go back change it to white. now if you look here it's just touching so maybe you want to make it a bit wider Again, you go here just in case, see center, middle. Okay, and this, this is the words. 
It's the same thing. So that's already in the middle and that's in the center. And that's, if we look at it, see, that's, that's another coloring book. Of course, you need to go in and you adjust this so that it touches the border and things like that. And these are things that you can adjust. Okay, maybe you want to adjust it closer. Okay, these are just things that you can do to make it, you know, a bit better to make your your your, your coloring book, uh, you know, a bit more of a quality book, coloring book. You know, make sure there are no gaps here so that um, people can do some coloring there as well. You know, that bigger. So you need to adjust that. Okay, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? And that's why I, I mentioned earlier that even if you put the leaves there, that's okay because this is going to cover it. Now, maybe you don't want this here, so I think it's not going to look that good, having just some leaves uh, peep out. So you, you just go and just delete that. What you can do is, maybe without one, you make it just so that it covers that. Now, if you see here, it's overlapping, right? So you, you ungroup it, okay, then you go to that one, to that particular one, and you just remove it. Okay. So now you can shift, click, group, make it bigger. Hope you see what I'm what I'm trying to tell you. I mean, you can even have a smaller one, you know, get one a smaller one and put it in between. It's all up to you how uh, compact you want to make it to be. Do you want it to have a lot of leaves? Do you want it to have less leaves? You can do it with flowers. You can do it with anything. If you look at below, I did it with bunnies. See, I just chose some bunnies. This is obviously for children. So but when it's for children, you know, you make sure that the font is, is a bit bigger and it's got mostly straight lines and it's got different types of bunnies on it. Okay, so again, you go to elements okay, and you type bunnies. Okay, graphics. You get all of this. Now, the thing with this is, okay, let me just um, add a page to like to give you an example. Now, for something like this, okay, this is a pro one, but for something like this, if you look here, you cannot change the colors. So for this, you need to edit the image and it's not going to come out um, enough or good enough for a coloring book, especially when there are shadows here as well. So you need to be careful about what you choose as well. Okay, so if you were to choose something like the ones that I chose up there, um, these have black outlines, okay? So, see, like that one. And it's got an outline here, it's black. See? So that's the one that you'd have to choose. Okay, so you must remember that as well. Now, there's a little tip or... Uh, caution really. If this is going to be um, for print on the, you know, publishing on let's say Amazon, KDP, then you cannot have this uh, designs border to border like this because when they print it out, it's going to get cut off and it's going to get cut off at a very um, awkward sort of uh, placing. Now, if it's just leaves, if it's cut off, maybe it's not too bad. But sometimes you might have a design that you don't want it to be cut off uh, awkwardly, like this. You know, they might just cut off part of the bunnies. So what then what you need to do is find out first what are the dimensions of the, the book. Because any of these uh, online publishers, they will tell you you need to leave a space, you know, from the top margin, the bottom, the sides. Now, usually on the spine, when it's on the spine, whether it's on this side or this side, because as you know, 
the books open up to two pages, right? You would need to leave a little bit more room. Okay, so then you'd have to have like a mirror image on the other side. So if this side is closer, when you do, so let's say, for example, you're going to duplicate this page. So if this side was closer here, for this one here, you would need to move it a bit here and a bit less here. You get what I'm trying to say? Because it's on the left and right side of the page, you know, it's going to, the spine is going to come at the opposite ends, opposite sides of the page, okay? So that is important to note. So if you are doing this for a, you know, publishing a book, coloring book, then that's what you need to do. You need to do a photo. Now you can take off the border after that, after you've placed it all within the border, or um, I do publish on KDPs. I just leave the border there. So it, it also gives a sort of guidelines to anyone who's um, what you call that, coloring in as well. Okay, so I hope you uh, like this. It's All of this is actually quite easy once you know how to, to make use of the elements in Canva. Canva has got so many elements. There's so many ways to do things. Um, that it's, you know, every day is a learning process. So this is one way... Um, this one for the, the previous one, I showed you how to do this. So do check out the previous video on how to do this as well. Okay, so I, I do hope you like this. And if you did, please do comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you are notified when I put out another video. Bye.